who's in, who's out for the Major League Fishing 2025 Bass Pro Tour. That's what we're going to talk about in just a few seconds. If you like this kind of content, hit that like and the subscribe button. Become part of the team and family, and thank you. It's been overwhelming, the amount of support, the interaction on the channel, and more that's going on. It's reinvigorated me to do more videos, and I really do appreciate it. So if you're not a subscriber, click that subscribe button, but thank you to all the new people and all the people commenting. Before we get into who's in and who's out, I thought we should do just a recap of everything that's happened this year on Major League Fishing, some of the big stories and some of the stuff that's went on. But this past weekend, they were absolutely, it was a smash fest, to be honest, on the St. Lawrence River. I have, I've seen very few tournaments where everyone is catching fish non-stop and I think there was a little bit of gameplay because they were on St. Lawrence River this past weekend and then Bassmasters is on it this upcoming week and after the smash fest that they had with 150 plus plus pounds caught I don't know if the elites are going to do as well which is a little gameplay but we'll see what happens and hopefully it's another good tournament. Of course forward facing the summoner was the big dominating factor again on the St. Lawrence Roof, but there were some guys that went uh, largemouth bass fishing. And if they caught a largemouth bass, it was a decent bass, that five pushing six pound bass. That's quality fish. And if I look at the overall season of the Bass Pro Tour, I was really, I really enjoyed this season. Not because of, oh, I, I enjoyed it because of some of the drama of seeing where the anglers were going to go, the people that were going to be out. I feel bad for them, but at the same time, I think that shrinking the field and making it as elite as possible is really the right thing to do. Now, I think they have to work on something with forward-facing sonar at some point in time, and they have to figure out some, they have to stop making so many changes. And we're gonna talk about a change that I heard during the tournament in a few seconds. But overall, I thought it was a fantastic year for the Bass Pro Tour. If I have to give it a rating, and I'm gonna use the Dave Portnoy's one bite, everyone knows the rules, I thought the overall year was probably about a 9, 9.1. And by that I mean stage one was on Toledo Bend and Dustin Connell won it. And hopefully I'm saying it right now. And that was a good way to start it. But then you had stage two and three where Jacob Wheeler took it down. Zach Burge won stage four. Stage five was won by Drew Gill. And then stage seven was won by, by Michael Neal. I think Michael Neal is one of the best anglers out there, honestly. I think he can do it no wrong. But overall, great year. I thought the heavy hitters was probably the best tournament of the year, too. I enjoyed that none of the anglers were able to use forward-facing sonar. They were all in the same boat. And it was fun to see Jordan Lee come back and just stomp the ass out of everybody. But overall, 991 for me. Now let's get into who's in and who's out. My one problem with what's gonna I'm gonna say is I'm not sure at all if my list is right. And I hate that. Because I've spent so much time going over this list, making sure that the angler points are correct and making sure that they're if they fished three years that their worst of that three years was taken out. So technically two of the six years can be removed. But then this weekend, I hear that they're going to take the top 46. The announcer said it at least 10 times, and I don't know why that happened. I didn't understand why out of nowhere it's been the top 45, and then the 15 best in 2024, and then the five from the Invitationals. To out of nowhere, it's now the top 46, and the top 14 or 15 anglers from the 2024 season, and the five best from the Invitationals. It's just another like prick. It's like a gnat in your ear. It just, it bugs you, it bugs me. So I'm really not sure who's in and who's out, but here's the 20 I think are out. And I'm really sorry if this is wrong. I'm really sorry, but from what I've done, all the calculations, I've taken out two years, I've put all their Angular of the Year standings in a spreadsheet for six years and come up with an average of total points and then an average. And when you do that, these are the 18 or 19 guys that are out. Shin Fukai, Scott Suggs, Brandon Coulter, Dave Lefebvre, Matt Lee, Dean Rodhaus, Gary Klein, Keith Carson, David Walker, Matt Steffen, John Murray, John, Jason Vance, Cliff Crochet, Kelly Jordan, Gray Buck, Boyd Duckett, Jacopo Gagelelli, Colby Schumpf, and Josh Weaver. 
my calculations say those are the guys that did not make the 2025 season. Now, I would hope that Major League Fishing and the Bass Pro Tour announces the full roster soon, but I do think there's some guys that might leave or want to go back to the Opens that have made that top 45 or 46 list. And if that's the case, we're probably not going to know until later on exactly who's in or who's out. I think the anglers probably know, but at this point in time, they're going to probably wait to see who can makes that commitment to 2025. Because in 2026, it's going to go down to 45 or 50. And that's cutting another 15 anglers. And if they have an opportunity to go to the leets or use their exemption to go to the leets and have some stability that they know they're not going anywhere, I think some anglers probably will do it. Or they might go back to the opens and see if they can requalify. But as of right now, we don't know because the year just ended yesterday. What did you think of the whole year for Major League Fishing and the Bass Pro Tour? Did you like it? Did you dislike it? What were your favorite places that they went fishing? Are some of the guys that are on the list some of your favorites? And they possibly might not be on that qualifying for 2025? What do you think? I'd like to hear your comments and really do appreciate the comments. So comment below and tell me what you think. Thanks for hitting that like and subscribe button. I really do appreciate it. Make sure you take a kid fishing. Get your fish on. I will talk to you very, very soon. Cheers.